Hey guys, Troll HDPC here, and I would like to show you how you can end up with this if you started with this. And these are the two exact same scenes. I have everything selected as lights, and all I have done here is I have added Omni lights and Omni floods. That's it. These are the exact same rendered pictures. And today I will show you exactly how to add these Omni lights two existing light fixtures that say they're lit already okay so all you have to do is come up here and select your objects and lighting and effects always come up first if everything's collapsed so just go in there and you're gonna see there's two lights the Omni and the spot all right if you click an actual Omni light it's gonna give you this little logo and then it's going to ask you to configure its parameters. So you can tell it things like a bigger radius, but you really need intensity up first to kind of tell where that's going. All right, and you can adjust this with numbers. It's real tough with a slider. Just highlight these and go with what number you would like when you kind of get near what's looking good for you. But your render distance is really cool. Obviously, at way up like that, when you're super far away, this light is always lit. It doesn't come into view as you get closer and closer. It will be lit when you are very far away if you have this jacked up. Again, if you go real small, I'm not even close enough for it yet, and it's not even going to light up till I get on top of it. So I think that's an awesome thing they've added. Flickering frequency, the amplitude, and the noise. Those will give you what the fire is doing. Because the fire, you can see it's glowing brighter and less, brighter and less. And monkeying with these three settings right here will give you that out of any one of these uh, lights. Then on the actual blue, I have that set to about 100. And that will give you the yellowish light that you will get out of a, that I think you would get out of a fire. And make sure you have your cast shadow turned on. And I, I think that looks phenomenal. Uh, this, these Omni lights are also available. Let me uh, get rid of this one. They're also available in the uh, spotlight. And this is, just as it's saying, going to give you a very direct, incredibly direct um, lighting source and very, very, very uh, focusable. So if we... Uh, hold our shift down here and bring this up a ways it's gonna ask us what you'd like to do so first of all let's bang up our render distance play with our angle just a little bit here um, intensity is important is that awesome or what you guys okay and then you can bang with the radius too as to what cone you want on it Obviously, I'm doing this with a slider versus, you know, adding the numbers in here so you could really define it nice. But these are really great for your street lights, outside of buildings, uh, and that kind of thing. And literally, every light here is all turned on, but they don't do anything. They offer no shadows, they offer no real light to the house, and I added everything that says lights lit, even this thing here. So all I've done is added Omni lights to all of their lights, and this is what you now get. Again, this one has been changed, so it's... We got the wrong part we've selected here. This has been changed so that... Uh, oh, I went back to all the way. I thought I left this at 100 to give it that yellow glow that you would typically get. I don't think I saved it. I think that's the problem of what happened there. But see how much how how much better that looks versus wound up. Control Z. Uh, it won't let me go back. I have to go into it. Two fifty five is stock. That's so white. But you need that if you're going to do the LEDs. LEDs like that real white color to them that you know 5,000 6,000 Kelvin um, so let's go to uh, oops I did the wrong thing 
We'll go over here to 100. Give it that yellow incandescent look. And these, who knows, maybe these are the LEDs, the bright LEDs kicking it out, making it look white. It's the choice is yours, guys. Whatever you'd like to do, play around with those numbers. You can achieve any color light you would like. You know, the red on a submarine kind of thing for your bunkers. Make it look like it's a uh, you know, crazy attack land and you can get the flicker going so it flashes on and off like uh, you're in the middle of a war or something. Your fire here, that in my opinion is a really, really, really important one. If you're going to start your guy off in the middle of the woods, I see a lot of guys doing that for the start of the game. They have a tent and you got your fire going, but now you can have the flicker happening, you know, get your... Get your light up, light source up here, casting all those cool shadows. Make it, make it look warm and inviting and real. I don't know if the pizzas would be good in the middle of the woods. I was just kind of laughing when I threw those in there, but uh, it just it 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 seems so real now, so inviting, like it's it's really happening, like you're really there, versus that static look of the exact same scene with all the lights put in, and that's what you get here. It just, it's not warm, it's not right. It just doesn't work for me. Hopefully you guys got something out of this and uh, you guys can get those lights banging in all your videos. I can't wait to play some more. Let me know what you think of this video. You guys want more of this stuff? Is this good? Is this bad? What can I help? What would you like to see next? That's it for now. Let me know what you're interested in. I'm Troll HDPC. Until next.